What do you see? A temple. A temple. Very good. Describe this temple for me. What does it look like? Mystic. A mystic temple. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Dark. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is it dark in the temple or outside? In between. In between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. What do you see? What is dark? Quiet. Mm -hmm. Peaceful. And as you look at this temple, from what perspective do you see it? Are you on the ground or above it? Above. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you see from above. What's around this temple? Structures. Structures. Mm -hmm. Structures. Mm -hmm. What kind of structures do you see? Old. Old. Mm -hmm. What do you think these structures are used for? I feel like abandoned Aban temple. Abandoned temple. And how does that make you feel as you look at this? Sad. Sad. Uh -huh. Tell me more. Have you been to this temple before? your temple. Very good. So let's close that scene and go back in time to where you were in this temple, your temple. Be there now. Look around you. Tell me what you see now. From where are you seeing this? Are you from on the ground now or above? I still see out above. All right. So let's see what's happening in this temple. It's like a... old mm -hmm. and... green. Old and green. Mm -hmm. Dark. Charcoal colors. Mm -hmm. Charcoal colors. What's making it that dark color? Was it painted that way? It seems like no one's visiting them. Mm. So if no one is visiting this temple, what's mm. happened to it? No one's taking care of it. Mm -hmm. And you said that this was your temple. Yes. Tell me who you are. I'm a keeper. You're a keeper. Mm -hmm. Are you the keeper of the temple? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Look after the temple. Mm -hmm. How do you look after it? What do you do? What is your role with this temple? Cleaning. Mm -hmm. How do you clean the temple? What do you use to clean the temple? Energy. Energy. Mm -hmm. So when people are using the temple, you keep it clean? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happens now if you're the keeper of this temple? Why is it so old and green? What's happened? What's happened to your energy? Seems like I'm transferred. Mm -hmm. You transferred? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Different area. 
You're transferred to a different area? Yeah. Uh -huh. And why are you at this temple again, if you've been transferred? What do you visit? You visit. You visit the temple? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's happened to this temple? Why does nobody visit it anymore? Abandoned. Mm -hmm. No one's there anymore. What happened to the people who came uh, to the temple? Did you see what happened? Used to be half, but no one, nobody now. Mm -hmm. so, Gone. So, what happened to the people? Gone. They're gone. Mm -hmm. Where did they go to? Hmm. Let's find out what happened to all those people. I'd like for you to go back to that time right before those people were gone. Be there now. See the activity in the temple. Community. Community. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Happiness. Happiness. Mm -hmm. Children running around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What is this temple used for? Connect to the source. Mm. So I'd like for you to tell me how you connect to the source using this temple. What happens there? Worship. Worship. Mm -hmm. So as energy, I'd like for you to Explain to me, what does this energy feel or look like? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. God's love. God's love. Tell me more. Tell me more about God's love. Bring it human together. It brings humans together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Connecting to one another. Connecting to one another. Mm -hmm. You could speak louder. So as they connect these humans together, what is your role as you're watching this? How what do you how do you fit in? I'm an energy keeper. Yeah. You're an energy keeper. Yeah. Okay, good. Balance balancing the human. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? Watching. Mm -hmm. Watching from above. Watching from above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this a role that you always do? Or were you given this role? Ancient. Ancient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who gave you this energy? Source. Source. So how do you connect with Source? What does Source have to do with what you do? A part of my job. It's part of your job. To there. look after the Earth. To look after the Earth. Very good. So now that we're watching all of these people enjoying their connection with Source, I'd like for you to tell me what happens. What happened to disconnect them? What happened to abandon this temple? Tell me what happened. It seems like there was a confrontation. A confrontation? Or some kind of disconnection. Mm -hmm. Or some kind of like war. A war. Who was, who was involved in this war? Mm -hmm. Were these the humans? that went to this temple? Between groups. Mm -hmm. Between groups? Yeah, between groups. What happened? Can you see what happened? Power. Mm -hmm. 
connect. Fighting over power. Fighting over power. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Why did they not go to the temple anymore? Lose hope. They lost hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did these powerful people do to these humans that came to the temple? When they connect with the source, is the power. Ah. So that these people that fought with them, did they disconnect them from source? Yeah. Mm. What did they do? What can you do so powerful to disconnect someone from source? Jealousy. Jealousy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These powerful people, were they connected to source? They all connected. Mm -hmm. So why did these powerful people not use the temples? They don't want to. They don't want us to know the temple has a powerful energy. Okay. So they took away their power by keeping them from knowing the truth? Yeah, connect to the source. Connect to the source, very good. So let's see what happened to you once the people started not going to the temple. How did you feel about this? Sad. Sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where is this temple? I see different places. Mm -hmm. No, not just one. Mm -hmm. How many temples do you care uh, for? Few. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. So you go from all the temples and visit? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And when you go to these temples, what do you do? Blow. You blow? <sighs> blow energy. You blow energy. Mm -hmm. Cleaning. You clean them. Cleaning the energy. Very good. Like that. Uh huh. Do you. Does anyone feel your energy as yeah. you blow? What yes. does it feel like to the humans? Love. Ah. Hope. Love and hope. Mm -hmm. Good. Go ahead and continue to blow that energy so that, so that I may receive that energy too. Very good. Very good. So now, Let's move to another scene when something important happens to you. Be there now. Where are you? I'm floating. Mm -hmm. I see a light, but I also see dark. Tell me about this light and dark. What is it? Combination. Mm -hmm. What is the source of the light? All of them mm. belong to source. All of them belong to source. Yeah. And what about the dark? E even including the dark. Uh huh. All belong to source. So I want you to go ahead and use your knowing and tell me why it is that you're seeing this light and dark. What is the significance? Balance. Balance. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What kind of balance do we need? In life, we need balance. Mm -hmm.
What else? I see. I see. Hmm. What do you see? Still floating. Still floating. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know why. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and float. The next significant event. What do you see? What do you experience? Peaceful. Peaceful. Very good. Very good. And as you continue to float, I'd like for you to float through time and space and meet up with the Council of Nine. Be there now. I'm in the room. I'm in the room. Would you describe this room mm-hmm. for me? White room. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's nine council. Nine council. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Rope. 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 Uh huh. Are they male or female? None. None. They have no gender. No gender. Mm-hmm. And what do you look like there? Same. Same. Are you part of this council? Yes. Yes. So what is the reason why you get together? Why do you have this council? They're asking me to go. They're asking you to go? Mm-hmm. I don't want to go. they said I want you to go ahead and tell you tell you exactly what they what they're saying to you what reason do they give you for wanting to go to 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 learn what is it you need to learn balance balance why is it that as a council member, you don't have balance? Experience in, in human form. Have you ever had experience as a human before? No. Uh-huh. And why are they asking you to do that? Why don't they do it? Take turn. Ah, you take turns. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why is it your turn? Why did you get this opportunity now? It's my turn. Mm. I don't know why I'm sad. I don't want to go. Mm-hmm. What will happen when you go? Do you know? I will learning so much. Mm-hmm. And learn. Human form to be balanced, energy helping the human. Mm-hmm. What's going on with the humans that they need help? We look after the earth. Mm-hmm. Is that what the Council of Nine does? Yes. Mm-hmm. What kind of things? does the Council of Nine do to look after the Earth? Vibration. Ah. Do you send vibration to the Earth? Yes. Mm-hmm. All the time. So do, do these Council members, mm-hmm. do they have different types of roles or do you all do the same thing? We are a team. You are a team. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you as an individual member the Council of Nine. What is your expertise? Why are you being sent to Earth at this time? We have order to look after the Earth. You're ordered to look after the Earth? We are, yes, we have order. Who orders you? Source. Mm. Who look after us. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about 
source. Amazing in love, mm -hmm. unlimited, endless possibility. Mm -hmm. Do you connect with source? All the time. Mm -hmm. Are you able to receive messages mm -hmm. from source? All the time. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to connect with source and let's find out what source tells you about this mission that you are now going to go to on earth. What is source telling you? Love. Love and vibration, high vibration. What else does Source tell you about taking care of the Earth? Experience, experience, experience. What kind of telling experience? experience? What is the experience for? experience as a whole human form mm -hmm. negative and positive and who is this experience for is it for you or for source for vanda for vanda very yeah. good and when vanda gets this experience what's that to do for her why is she getting this experience She has to learn. She has to learn. Yeah. Now, Vanda has questions about her life. How is she going to go through that life as a human? Will she receive help and guidance? Us. We helping her. Ah, you are. Yes. How do you help her? Constantly mm. downloading her. Downloading her. Information. Mm -hmm. What kind of information have you downloaded? Well, why is she sleeping? Why is she sleeping? Yes, yeah, she go back to the planet nine. Ah. Planet nine. What is this planet nine? She says that when she wakes up, she says she sees this planetary system nine. What is that? It's a, it's a, it's a group. It's, it's group. It's a group at a council. Mm -hmm. That's why it's place from. That's where she's from. That's where she's from. Yeah. Is it an actual planet? Is it physical? Different dimension, actual planet. Yes. Ah, different dimensional. Actual, actual planet. planet. Yes. Okay. And it's called Planet Nine. Council Nine. Council yes. Nine. Yes. Very good. Now, how, how many people live on this council? It's a spirit slime. Hmm? It's, it's a spirit. It's a spirit realm. It's a spirit realm. Not in the kind of form. Okay. You can do as a form if you want to. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to. So when Vanda is experiencing her life as a human, is she also on this Council Nine as a spirit? Yes. Simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yes. And on the planet? Yes. Ah. Does she have another life on that planet? Yes. Does she have family or anything like that? We all family. You're all family? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now she has questions about how many times she has been on the earth. Mm, none. None. This first time. This is the first time. So yeah. how is it that she came to be on this earth without any experience? Spirits. The spirits? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Who helps her? Is she guided by spirits or angels or just by the Council Nine? Guided by angel. Mm. Who helps her? Seven angels. Seven, seven angels. Seven angels. Yeah. So she's always guided by these angels? Yes. Mm -hmm. And how do these angels fit into the Council Nine? Are they part of it? Work together. They work together. Yes. Okay. Do they have different types of roles that they play? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So what are the roles that these angels are playing in the life of Vanda now? Do they do different things with her? Yes, most energy. Mostly energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else that these angels are helping her with? Learning to be a human. Yes. Very good. Now, I know that Vanda does Reiki, and she's very good at it. Who is helping her with this energy work? Is we, this? we all are. You all are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when she is connected with a client and she's doing the energy work, is she channeling this energy from the council? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, she, she cannot do it by herself. She cannot do it by mm. herself. Mm. Do you have any advice for her where she can even improve her Reiki even more? Giving love more. Giving more love? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To her client? Everybody. Else. To everybody. Yeah. So when she goes through life, she needs to be spreading the energy of love to her. More. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Well, she's been going around the world traveling yes what is the purpose that she is being sent around the world by the council love energy and giving a high vibration to others mm -hmm. everybody need to know mm -hmm. is this part of the mission that she came here to do yes mm -hmm. she's kind of late boomer she's a late bloomer yeah <laughs> So why did it take so long for her to bloom into this project? It's not her time yet before. Ah. This is her time. So what was the trigger? What was the change? What had to happen on Earth for this late bloomer to start spreading this love? Concept to love one another without judging. Mm-hmm. How is she doing? She's doing amazing with mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how far does she need to go with this project? Because she's afraid of being too famous. She's afraid of going out there and being known by too many people. Is she supposed to be out there spreading her love? She's going to learn how to do boundary. Mm. Would you tell her about boundaries? What boundaries does she need to work on? It been a private life and and who she is. She, mm -hmm. she is. She need to learn more. Mm -hmm. Now, by learning, does that mean that she has to experience more, or does she need to get more downloads? She she has a lot of download already, but she. She's gonna continue and have a download from us, mm -hmm. and that will never stop until her time is stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, are some of these downloads about how to set boundaries, or is that how human? to human? Yeah, mm -hmm. learning, um, understanding a uh, community between human and human. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now she told me that. She is very emotional when she sees waterfalls and trees. Why does she get so emotional? That's how she connects with the source. Ah. She's a part of the source and through the waterfall and trees. It's a part of her. Hmm. <sighs> what is it about waterfalls and trees? What kind of energy does she get from them. She's a part of waterfall. She is a part of the waterfall? Yeah. So is she part of the elements of water? Yes. Okay. And what about the trees? A part of element trees too. Okay. So she's never been human, but she's been element. Before. Yes. And now, energy. Like energy. Now yeah. when she first started this session, she saw herself as a keeper of these temples. What was she doing in there? Was she an element at that time? Energy element. 
an energy element. Okay. Ascending by source. I see. So where were these temples? Were they on earth or elsewhere? Some in earth, uh, some also different dimension. Mm -hmm. And these temples, are there any of these temples that she's already visited as a human? Yes. Can you tell her about these temples? Which one? What temples is she associated with? Temple in Bali and temple in Java. Ah. So, can you show her now that lifetime in which she was taking care of these temples? Would you show her again? As a keeper, but not as a human. As a keeper. Yeah. Very good. So, show her what she was doing with these temples. Do you see? It's a gatekeeper. Gatekeeper. It's a gatekeeper. Uh huh. Can you explain what that role means? What was she keeping in or out? Protection from the lower vibration, protection from the lower energy or dark energy. Mm hmm. So what would happen if someone of lower energy or vibration would try to go to those temples? I have to fight for it. Mm. In what way? As a warrior. As a warrior. Yeah, energy warrior. Mm -hmm. Can you explain to me mm. what an energy warrior does? It's a holy place. So to order to get in, you have to cleanse yourself through the source. It's a holy space to connect with the source. My job is protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, protection. You protect the temples? Yes. From anything that shouldn't go in there that's not connected? Yes. In a high vibration, the source? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if someone were to approach one of these temples that were of lower vibration? I were cleansing with my energy mm. before they go to the temple. Mm -hmm. So when we first started here, this energy, this keeper, saw how all of these people were wiped out. They had to fight this war and they were kept from these temples. Did this energy do anything to protect these temples from these beings of lower vibration? Because she was very sad at what had happened to her abandoned temples. I feel like I cannot look after them. Mm -hmm. What happened? Because uh, not enough energy. Mm. Would you tell me what happened to the energy? I need more help, more help from the source. Mm -hmm. Did you connect with the source? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Why did you not get enough energy? So it has to be happened first. Mm -hmm. Was that something that this energy keeper had to learn? <sighs> Was this energy keeper protecting these temples not connected to source enough? What happened? Sometimes has to be happen ah. to order to rebuild. Okay. I only can be able to have only a certain, a certain limit. Mm -hmm. 
Is this part of the dark and the light? The balance? The balance. Mm -hmm. And also has to be happen to order to rebuild, mm -hmm. to, get, to create a new one. So when something of ours is destroyed, are you saying that it is not a bad thing because we need to rebuild it? When we disconnect from source, do we sometimes have to rebuild that connection? Understanding. Mm -hmm. Grateful. Okay. Experience. So we need to live through that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when we are grateful, we connect? Acceptance. Ah. So, for example, if there were a tsunami that came and wiped mm. away an area of the earth, is that something that needs to be rebuilt? Do we need to be grateful? In time. In time. Yeah. Okay. Is this something that the energy keepers would be working with us on? All the time. Mm. All the time. Different portal. Different portals. Cleansing art. Mm -hmm. Is that happening now to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? What's happening to Earth at this time? This cleansing? To order to rebuild the new one has to be cleansing. Mm -hmm. With the clean new energy from source. I'm a part of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Tell me about that. What are we cleansing the earth of? Five elements. The five elements? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Water. Mm -hmm. Air. Anything connecting with the energy mm -hmm. has to be boundaried. It has to have boundaries? Also, yes. Also. Do these have boundaries now? Does the water have boundaries? A human, a human has to learn how to have boundaries. The humans have to learn how to have boundaries. Uh, we are element energy. Mm -hmm. Look after the human. So what is Vanda's role as a human? Receiving this, this care from these elements. She learning so much mm -hmm. with the elements she's doing good mm -hmm. she's doing great she has to keep going mm -hmm. cannot despair she tells me that she's written a book and she has others in draft form where are these books coming from are they downloaded also yes okay so she wants to know if she should continue writing these books yes how many of these books does she need to write doesn't have to be in public or anything but for her journey okay for her journey she need to write things so she can connect with automatic writing mm -hmm. connecting with her download yes does she need to put herself in any particular state to get these downloads 
when she meditate or when she sleeping we actually giving download okay. for her okay good so she asks about her travels she wants to know what's her connection with the ancient native Polynesian and Hawaiian why there She was ancient um, energy keeper for native Polynesian. Hmm. Is that why it was chosen for her to be born in that area? She born in Indonesia, mm -hmm. in the island. In the island. Does she have a connection? Both. Um, Native Polynesian is not as a human, as an energy. As an energy. Yes. Okay. It's an energy. So is that why she is connected with that Bora Buddha temple? Yes. Mm -hmm. She was an energy keeper there? Yes. Okay. What about the island of Bali? All connected Bora Buddha and Bali. Both of them. Okay. Yes. Is that why she's being drawn? to semi-retire in Bali? We're close to home, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what recommendations does the Council of Nine tell her about where she should live? What would be the best for her so that she can do what she, her mission? She don't need to stay in one place. She can go whatever she want to go. She has a freedom for it. Mm -hmm. So should she both uh, be in both places, New York and Bali? If she want to, yes. Okay, yeah. so it's really up to her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever she enjoys. Right. Okay. And uh, is she supposed to be doing anything overseas differently than what she's doing now? She really, she really like private, but there's nothing private about her. Nothing private about <laughs> her, no. So she's supposed to be more of an, of a. Um, she's supposed to be out there with the people, being known. Not necessarily known, but helping others. Yes. Okay. Helping others have a reiki. Um, Energy healer. An energy healer. Yeah. So anything having to do with energy is who she is. Yes, she is energy. She is her energy. So whether she be in a room, just being in a room, she's sending out her energy? Yes, mm -hmm. she is. What, what effects do people get from her when they are in her presence? Love energy. Love energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, she had a question now about the source. And we know that the Council of Nine was really created by source. But she wants to know even more. She wants to know who created this matrix. Are we living in a simulation computer system? and who created her soul. Can we connect now with Source to get the words directly from that which is? What are you? Source is unlimited. Mm -hmm. Is there a beginning to source? There's no beginning, there's no end. Mm -hmm. So why is it going around that source is a computer? 
that this is all a computer-generated simulation. Experience. Mm -hmm. Experience. Experience. Learning. Mm -hmm. So as this soul, as Banda, coming into this for the first time as a human, I would imagine that she was connected to Source. Never leave out of sight. Never leave out of sight. Yeah. Always connected. Always connected. So, how was her soul created? God's love. What is it? God's love. God's love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, God's love created yes. the soul? Yes. Is this similar to how the humans create their own children? No. No. Can you tell me how a soul was created from love? Is it God's choice to make this soul? God's love energy. Mm. Yes. God's energy to create anything okay. in this life. Mm -hmm. So why was Vanda created? So she can learn, experience before her time, mm -hmm. understanding human. Awaken other human what's happened to the humans why are they asleep they choose to be asleep for what purpose they're not ready sometime mm -hmm. it's not their time sometime mm -hmm. but Whatever they decided, it's their choice. Okay, so this is free will as a human? Only in the certain line, mm -hmm. certain timeline. Okay, so in this timeline where Vanda chose to be born, in this one that we're living, there are those who came in here asleep. Why at this time is it important for people to wake up? Down spiral, mm -hmm. down spiral. Can you tell me what that means, down, down spiral? If you keep sleeping, you'll be way, go down, way like a down spiral. Okay. And then might not necessarily go back up mm. in a certain timeline. Mm -hmm. So in this timeline, is are all the spirals going up now? It depends on all of us. Hmm. It depends on us. We can be able to kind to one another. Mm -hmm. So as a collective, we're creating this upward spiral? Yes. Or downward? Yes. Mm -hmm. So where are we right now as far as the spiral is concerned? Are we making it go up or down? Both. Both. So some people are sending it down and some are up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this part of the balance? Yes. Mm -hmm. So is it needed? Is this balance of spiral going up and down required? Sometimes they need it, sometimes they don't. Okay. It, it, their choice. Okay. Now this, if everyone is on this spiral, or the ones that are on this upward spiral, are they in the same timeline as the ones going down? Different timeline. Different timeline. Okay. Because I've heard a lot about a new earth. 
Does the spiral have anything to do with this new earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you explain about this a little bit more? Can you tell me what this new earth is all about? Consciousness. Consciousness, yeah. Consciousness, consciousness. Yes. okay. So what does the earth have the new earth have to do with consciousness? We go up to the different dimension mm -hmm. with the subconsciousness. Mm -hmm. The level of understanding of wisdom mm -hmm. and higher as a human has a higher power than just a three dimension. Do we have the same body? Semi light body. Same, but it's a light body? Semi light body. Oh, semi light body. Yes. Okay. A little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Translucion. Ah. Will we be able to look at our bodies and see the difference? Yes. Okay. Does this happen to everyone? If they want to, yes. Okay. And what happens? With the timeline in which their body is three-dimensional, does it stay there on that timeline? Or does it go to the different dimension? Each human and soul has a different path. Mm -hmm different path, different way, and different timeline in terms of the awakening or not. Okay. Because a lot of people are concerned about family members that have not woken up. And if their body has changed to a different dimension, what happens to those that they leave that haven't? No more access means that each individual have their own journey mm. and each individual have a, a level of the, their spirituality awakened mm -hmm. the only thing that we can do is giving so much love to others without without judgment okay so we so, all need to work on that Giving more Everybody, love. including Rhonda, mm -hmm. she need to continuing spread up the energy and learning as a as a human to love one another. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where the other person come from. You know what what background they are. Every human are the same. Came from source. Came from source. Now, Vanda saw herself in front of the Council Nine, not wanting to come to Earth, not wanting this experience. Why is that? She so don't want to be part of human form. Mm. But she learned so much. She love human form. Now see, she seems she has chosen uh, a career and partnerships with those that are not going to tie her down anywhere. Is there a reason why she has chosen the people in her life? Has she known these before? Because usually when you go to Earth, you've had some Earth experience and no other beings throughout lifetime. The 
で How does she choose these people in her life? They're helping her. They're helping her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they know her from before in spirit form? In spirit form, yeah. Okay. Not in a human. Not in human form. Very good. Is there any advice that you would like to give any of her partners in this human form? Her family, her friends? It is important to to be in alignment, balance, in alignment. Mm -hmm. How do you balance and align yourself? Happiness. Happiness. Accept happiness. Accept happiness? Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't push away happiness. Yeah. Love your happiness. Love your happiness. Is Van doing that now? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's all about happiness and love. Mm -hmm. Any advice you would like to give anybody else? She's doing good. Mm -hmm. She always has to remind herself that she is love. She is a part of love. And she's. She's kind. Mm -hmm. So does she spread this love and kindness wherever she goes? Yes. Good. Good. Is that what she's teaching in her workshops? Yes. By example? She's teaching chakra system, mm -hmm. energy system. This is all from the downloads? Yeah, thought create reality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your thought creates your reality. It's all about vibration. Mm -hmm. Any advice that you give about that? Beyond what Vanda already teaches? She's going to have more download but not her time yet, mm -hmm. in the future. Yes. When she's ready, we're giving more download for her, so it will be for the next project. Good, good. Is there anything that I have not asked that you would like to tell Vanda right now? That's good. Okay, I do have a question for you. Why did you bring Vanda all the way from where she was to see me? What did you need to tell her? Mm. See love, experience the soul journey. We brought her mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. We brought her to you. 
and that she received the soul journey that you wanted her to experience? Yes, and we're continuing from our counsel mm -hmm. to Good. her. Good. Helping people, helping out Fonda. Mm hmm all the way from New York mm -hmm. to just connect. S really happy about it. Good. Good. To order to give it a spiritual help or energy help, you have to have full energy for yourself first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Fonda. She need to have more energy, full energy first before she give it to others. Mm -hmm. And the energy only comes from the source, mm -hmm. nothing else. Good. So by being alone, I connect more with source, that's what you're saying? Enjoying it yourself more. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Good, good. Anything else, any other advice that you would like to give anybody else, Rhonda? To love one another, mm -hmm. we all the same, coming from source, one. Good. One. Very oh. good. Are we complete? Yes. Very good. So while I begin to get Vanda out of this trance, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin transmitting that energy from Source so that we can feel it. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Hi. How do you feel? Wow. Wow. Can't describe. Can't describe it? <laughs> Indescribable. What do you remember? Let me switch these for you so you can okay. ground yourself now. So, a soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happened. Uh, what do you remember? I just remember the temple. The temple, that's yeah. it? You don't remember anything else? Yeah, just temple and I'm floating around mm -hmm. like in the sky. But yeah. How long do you think this journey was? 25 minutes. Yeah, it's an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> no, do you remember connecting with Source? Yeah, it was uh, just like my body is out. Yeah. It's uh, like, uh, wow. You've never been to Earth before. I did not know that. You've just been an element, so yeah, you weren't reincarnated here. Before. Wow, you're that's just, you just came here for your energy. Wow, does that make sense? No, Not really. You know? <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to come here. You met with your council, and they said it's your turn. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. Like I was crying. I don't want to come. Right. But. Uh, I guess not crying in the way like a, a sense of uh, yeah you know um, feel like from comfortable place and yes. then to not comfortable place right. yeah that was same thing I experienced yeah mm -hmm. when I did a regression I was the same yeah I didn't want to come here either it's uh, wow yeah so good yes did you get what you needed from this yes I mean. Uh, it just, uh, I feel like, you know, floating, <laughs> and um, I don't see any, you know, like people, anything no, like that. It's just all the energy. That's all. what you did. You're, you're, a whole thing is about energy. Yeah. And right now, it's you're connecting people. You're waking them up with this energy. Yeah. This love. You're teaching them about the energy. System. And and I'm talking about energy yeah. since I'm. A kid, you know, <laughs> you but know. but I didn't know. Even I went to the temples. Yeah, I don't, you know, I just feel connected, but I don't know why I'm always in the temple. You used to take care of them. Yeah, you used to keep out the bad energy. Yes. Amazing, wow. huh? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to listen to this a few times it's, because it, it it's there's a lot of twists and turns. I kept trying to ask things in different ways uh -huh. to try to get more answers. Uh -huh. So. And go back to the energy again. You always went back to the energy and source. 
So, do you realize now that God is not a computer? Did it feel, Did you feel it? It's all source, you know. Yeah. There was a layers of the, you know, like uh, experience when you are in the planet, the certain mm -hmm. planet. Yeah. But your question about the matrix and computer simulation, do you feel different in this session about that now? I think understanding more. Yeah. Understanding more. Because the source says it's been, it's always been, there's no beginning, there's no end. There's no beginning, there's no end. Interesting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> It was always there. It was always there. It may have been a different shape or size, but it was yeah. it's always been there. Yeah. Amazing, huh? That's amazing. Is this something you want to share or you want to keep private? Well, it can inspire people. I think, I think so. You know, and then also, like, of course, like, if is there any private things? No. no. There's no, it's no. pretty much all general. It's all know? general and... It makes me want to go to the temples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing yeah. now that there's energy there that yeah. protects it. Isn't that interesting? That's a, uh, this like a, the temple is like a, a, like a portal. Mm -hmm. But the portal is not a physical portal. It's an energy portal. Yes. So when you go in, it's just soup. And, and uh, when I was in the temple, I was floating, go around looking mm -hmm. for like as a protection yes looking for like like a negative or lower energy mm -hmm. i will fight you know to protect <laughs> a warrior it was a, a, warrior. a warrior energy yeah wow we did it we did it we did it oh uh, my god wow <laughs> so okay. what was this experience like um it feels like it's not uh it's not that long but it is long <laughs> <laughs> and I was sleeping but I was not you're awake yeah but you were out pretty much I mean because even before you were on the bed you were really like out of it really yeah 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 so was this easy for you yeah it was not what I um experience <laughs> thought because I thought like okay you know maybe watching on the YouTube you know watching video or something it was like my body took over and then just somebody like talking I know it's not me mm. but I know maybe a part of me but I know it's not me but that's what we call the higher self yeah that's the part of you that speaks yeah. when you're giving and, advice to people and I, I was not talking like that no like in the way that no. like you know yeah uh but it was me because i feel the energy when i was right. looking at that temple yes i was looking and you at felt the emotion I feel, um, I feel crying and, and then the other part why are you crying it's that's like right. it was like it's a part of me that yes i was look after that temple yeah you know you feel it yeah. So now do you understand why I sound a certain way when I do hypnosis and I sound differently when I'm talking to you? Yeah. It's Were the same you thing. sleeping too? Well, I'm not sleeping, but I'm in a trance too. I don't talk like that normally. Like, <laughs> 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 uh, you know, like, oh. No, no, no so but, but that's, that's how I do my work. My, my work is done like that mm -hmm. where, you know, when I'm in a trance, um, you know, my voice changes and mm -hmm. it gets slower and more deliberate and and that's the same thing you know when i'm when i'm doing yeah. my work i'm also channeling too yeah so that's why the difference so you were energy and that makes sense now with the work that you do yes so tell everybody what you do uh mm. i'm doing some workshop uh you know mind body and spiritual growth yeah and also i'm doing some energy work which is a reiki session makes sense doesn't it yeah you are energy but i'm late bloomer <laughs> well so am i i mean yeah. look how many you know how many years it took me to to begin my mission yeah and um, mm -hmm. so uh pretty much like you know anything that you want to do you know uh with energy yeah you know so you're going around the world yes doing workshops yes how do people find you how do they uh, even know about you they can contact me mm -hmm. uh, uh, find a reiki 2018 at gmail.com there you go yes and if you want to and then session. a session so where do you hold these sessions uh, all over the place mm -hmm. so uh, so let's say that somebody is in california and they well, want a session with you if they can come to new york there or they go. can meet me in Bali. Uh -huh. <laughs> you so, know, so you work out of Bali and New York right now. 
Uh, yeah, in Indonesia and also New York. Okay, yes. good, good. And is there any um, a anything that they, they need to know about you that makes it different, how you do your work? Well, um, it has to be from heart. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the key. Well, we all know now that you're yeah. connected to the Council of Nine. Yeah. So you're not doing the work. The council, myself, yeah. the council is doing it with you. Yeah, and then they are kind of like... Go, yes. go to Earth. I don't want to go. I yeah. was crying. I don't know why I was crying. I didn't know mm -hmm. that. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. I know. Like a, there is some time in certain timeline that you were, you know, out of the box or something like that. Mm -hmm. you know? So you yeah. learn. So this was one that you really have to listen to a few times mm -hmm. because, you know, I try to to get different answers but it kept going back to the same type of thing yeah what it's is all that? energy well i was just trying to trip you up and see if you <laughs> came up with something different but it was all about love and energy yeah you know and the fact that you your question was you know is god a computer generated thing and now you felt no it was it was powerful yeah because uh, as you can see there is a layer of <laughs> there is a layer of dimension yeah. and the layer of simulation yes. system but it's all going back to the source yes interesting huh yeah so does that change things in you now having experienced this yeah it's like more like a kind of like a, a new way mm -hmm. you know it now you know it for sure. you know yeah. it and mirroring Alva, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you that know that's experience. like the you know like you know like you know okay you gotta see you gotta see you gotta see her you gotta see yeah her. so yeah. that's the great thing about about us getting together was the energy yeah. exchange that we had yeah too. yeah you know exchange and uh, uh, just love one another you there you know, go without any judgment there you go yeah. so do you recommend this type of work for other people do you think will be inspire people oh hey <laughs> only they know if they've been inspired by this so if you want a session with me just go to albaweinman.com that's my website and about once a month i send out a newsletter telling people where i'm going to be i do travel all around the world sometimes we're right here in miami in my home office and you can come visit me here but what you have to do is sign up to my newsletter. It's on my out of town page on my website. And once you get that bulletin, immediately click on those links and sign up. They, they really book within minutes. Yeah. People write us all the time. I didn't believe you that you said they book in minutes. And yes, they book within minutes, okay? The mailing list is very large. So make sure, I mean, if you're supposed to be here, you're gonna be here. Yes. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. And thanks, bye. Bye. Mm. You did great.